Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make one of my favorite Weight Watcher snack recipes, crunchy air fryer chickpeas. If you're new here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you don't miss whenever I upload a new video. My name is Sarah, I have an almost one year old daughter named Isla and I upload mommy and lifestyle videos over on this channel twice a week and we also have a vlogging channel where we upload weekly vlogs. I'll link that in the description down below. So if you're interested in this really delicious crunchy snack, be sure to stick around. All right guys, sorry about this, but I apparently recorded this portion of the video with my microphone off. So for this recipe, we're gonna need a few things. First is our air fryer. Some people do make these in the oven at 350 degrees, but the problem with making them in the oven is they are they take a little bit longer and they're not as crunchy, so I use my air fryer. We're also gonna need some chickpeas. I just use whatever's on sale. These are Goya brand. There's nothing special about them. Um, these were just on sale for me. Then you're also going to need some olive oil in a spray bottle or spritzer. I just used this spray bottle that I had on hand, but you can get a spritzer online. I'll link some in the description. Also, whatever seasonings you want. I like chipotle lime, so I use this chipotle lime seasoning off of Amazon. And then, of course, some true lime powdered lime zest. Um, and then you need a strainer to be able to rinse and strain your chickpeas. All right, so here I'm just going to pop open this can of chickpeas. I'm gonna pop them open in the sink just because that juice will kind of get everywhere. And they're just packaged in some salt water. And I'm just pouring these into a fine mesh strainer. I wanna get everything out of the can. Um, and these chickpeas do only have chickpeas, water, and salt kind of as a preservative. So then I'm just gonna give these a nice quick rinse in the strainer. Um, I'm not really trying to get deep down into these chickpeas. I just wanna give them a nice rinse. They're kind of slimy when they come out of the can. You'll notice that these chickpeas in particular are a little bit larger than some other chickpeas that you might find. Again, this just depends on the brand, guys. So just find a brand that works for you. Um, and get whichever ones you like. Sometimes I use bushes, sometimes I use these Goya. I usually just get whatever's on sale um, at Publix or Walmart. All right, so now I'm gonna pop these into my air fryer. So I'm just getting the air fryer basket out. I'm gonna pour the chickpeas in out straight from the strainer. You don't need to dry them or anything. That's a little bit different than some of the recipes that you find for cooking them on or in the oven. Um, those recipes usually call for you to dry them out. So I'm just putting them in the air fryer basket. You want them to be in kind of a single layer if possible, but it just really depends on what you have going on, how big your basket is, and how many air, or um, excuse me, how many chickpeas you have. This is a larger can, so they're kind of overlapped. So I'm gonna put these in my air fryer on 390 degrees for five minutes, and this is just to dry the chickpeas out a little bit um, before we start cooking. So we're just gonna dry them out 390 for five minutes. Okay, so my air fryer just went off and that was the five minutes um, kind of drying stage. So if you look at the chickpeas in the air fryer, you can tell that they are a little bit more dry. They're not totally dry and that's what's gonna happen over the course of the next 15 to 20 minutes, just depends. So I should give these a good shake and then I'm gonna spritz them with a little bit of olive oil. And like I mentioned, you can get an olive oil spritzer. They sell them at Target. My mom ordered one on Amazon. I just had this little um, squirt bottle that I use and I just give it a few little spritz, spritzes of olive oil. So I'm gonna put these back into the air fryer at 390 degrees um, and I like mine really crispy so I'm gonna give mine 19 minutes. Now if you don't like them quite as crunchy or if you have a smaller batch, you may only wanna cook them for 15 to 17 minutes. Um, it's totally your call on what you like. I personally like mine a lot crunchier so I'm going to um, put mine in for 390 degrees for 19 minutes. Now every five minutes I'm going to shake the basket um, just to make sure that I'm getting a nice even cook on these chickpeas. So I set it for 19 minutes at the beginning and then just monitor and shake every five. So it's totally your call, but that's what I'll be doing here. So back into the air fryer at 390 for 19 minutes and it will auto start. That I could follow through I know that your love is true and deep as the sea
for the first shake of our chickpeas and you can see that they are drying out quite nicely. Back in for another five minutes. This is the last shake I'm gonna give them. You can see that they are nice and crispy. You can hear that they're nice and crispy, um, but the insides don't cook as easily. So we're gonna give it the last four minutes. I'm gonna spritz it with a little bit of olive oil and give it the last four minutes and get out a container to put these things in. All right, air fryer just went off, so I'm gonna use this glass container to store my chickpeas. And you can see they are nice and roasted, crunchy. You can hear how nice and crunchy they are. Now, I'm a super picky eater, so trust me, they taste delicious. They almost taste like popcorn kernels. So I'm gonna just give them one last little spritz of olive oil. And kind of sh shake them up, and get them all nice and coated. And then I'm going to season them. You can season them however you want, and I've done salt and vinegar. You can do just plain salt. I really like this chili lime seasoning. So I'm gonna sprinkle a nice healthy amount of the chili lime stuck in here and I like a little bit extra lime so I'm just gonna sprinkle this true lime it's just powdered lime zest shake these up And these guys are hot. Mmm, that is so good. Excellent. So, that's my recipe for crispy roasty, roasted chickpeas in the air fryer. If you guys have any questions, leave them for me in the, in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go snack on these and I'll catch you guys next time.